Food and Drink Festival, along with thousands of others. Come here to sample some of the great food and drink that Liverpool has to offer. I skipped breakfast this morning because I knew I wouldn't be able to resist the smells from all these stalls. So, I'm going to shoot over and get myself some scrunch. <laughs> I'm here with Tom and Henry, the fabulous Baker Brothers. But congratulations on that. Um, but I like to say performance because it is a big performance that you do. No it? education going on there, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> the whole place is totally charged, like, and we kind of feed off, yeah, you know, yeah. other people's kind of energy. We go through a recipe. So yeah. There's some tips and stuff in there, but mostly we're having fun on stage. Is that a song we spent last week with Shanty Men down in Exmouth? Go, you, you say a word like. Raggedy! And then you're the, oh, oh, raggedy, waddy, raggedy, oh, oh, oh. We didn't set out to like do telly and these kind of shows and stuff, but yeah. you know, Tom's a baker, I'm a, a chef and a butcher, and, we, and we're brothers. And we're brothers. brothers. Yeah. And it's what we do yeah, in real yeah. life anyway. Well, have you ever made skulls? I've not, no. I've, uh... <laughs> have I ever eaten scouts? <laughs> <laughs> that's what? what you need to, that should be on next on your well, list. Well, I asked someone, I said, oh, there's only scouts enough, and they said there wasn't, so really? uh, I know. Oh, <laughs> and. Obviously your brothers, yeah. do you ever like get, I mean you must be competitive, but do you ever like... No, not really. No. Yes we are. <laughs> We're quite competitive. No, we're not. Yeah we are. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what are you trying to... <laughs> I I think I should stay in the middle of you I think that answered your question though, so yeah. thanks yeah. for that. This uh, chilli stall here is fantastic, yeah. behind us over. Uh, They've got a, a chili sauce that has been banned at several uh, chili festivals. So that's all. I, yeah. And what have you had? I've actually not had anything yet, but I'm, the smells are just driving me crazy. So I'm going to have to go and try some stuff. Well, well that, that wasn't me. <laughs> So I'm here with Ian Turner, who's the operations manager from The Hub. What's the menu like? Well, the uh, the restaurant menu, uh, we're kind of a contemporary British, it's good, hearty, honest yeah, British yeah. food. Uh, what we're doing today, we've got fish and chips, um, our famous Scotch eggs with uh, Hubslaw. Yeah. Um, but the secret is we, we use black pudding in the coating, which gives it that special extra kick. And what makes it a Hubslaw? Uh, well, we can't tell you that because it is a secret ingredient that we use. And you're famous for your cocktails. Yeah, we are, yeah. yeah, yeah you do. You've got a, a big range of cocktails. Yeah, like massive you range. We've got a cocktail menu with like 58 different types wow. of cocktails. What have you yeah. found that um, today's audience have been requesting a lot of? Bombay bad boys. <laughs> What's that? It's one of our signature <laughs> that cocktails. Sounds good, yeah. So, Mick, what brings you today to the Liverpool Food and Drink Festival? Well, we, we do have sufficient rations in our our 10-man ration pack to serve around about 3,500 calories for the right. work he's doing for 24 hours. Right. Now, we have different calorie packs for different climates, different environments. That's just a normal temperate ration pack. I spoke with Lisa, actress and winner of Celebrity MasterChef. Obviously, you didn't first go into um, to being a chef or anything like no. that. Your, your career is obviously an actor. Yeah. Um, so where did you learn your cooking skills? I learned from my mum. Yeah. My mum was a brilliant cook and uh, like she was just obsessed with food. So I yeah. learned everything from her and I just kept cooking, really. Yeah, oh, amazing. And what's your favourite thing to cook? Um, I like, do you know what? Roast dinner. Yes. Because all I want is people around my table. I want loads of people all eating lovely roast potatoes, yeah. really nice food, simple food, family food. Who tests out all your recipes? My neighbours, my yeah. family, um, and uh, yeah, quite a few of the MasterChef people as well, because there are a lot of my, a lot of them are my friends. So yeah. I take cakes and things around to people and say, taste oh, yeah. this for me. <laughs> so what is it about the Liverpool Food and Drink Festival that people love so much? A nice happy atmosphere here. It is, um, yeah. It's like a half party mood. Yeah, but there's some there's some great stalls here with um, some interesting foods. We came here last year and it was brilliant, but there seems to be a lot more stalls this year. So. Is it your first time in first Liverpool? First time, yeah. And what are your opinions oh, of it? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. how does it compare to the other festivals? Great, you know? this is actually the best. And it's just, it's just a great atmosphere. Can you just tell us a little bit about what you supply, what you do? We do all traditional jams, chutneys. That's really nice. Sir. So, Leanne the Leaf, are you having a good day today? Sure. That's good. <laughs> ah. My face lit up like that little girl's when I heard about the wine tasting evening. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to wine, so hopefully I'll learn a few things. Um, and if not, then you can't argue with free alcohol, can you? So I'm going to go and grab myself a glass.
I tasted a variety of different wines, of which there were over a hundred brought by some of the region's best independent retailers. It was a really enjoyable evening put on by the Food and Drink Festival, and after relentless experimenting, <clears throat> 25 glasses later, I can definitely say I like wine. <laughs> The next morning, with a heavy head, I was up again and headed straight to get myself a cup of tea. And, of course, more food. I'm here with Paul Clough from St Helens Rugby Club. Um, Paul, what brings you to the Liverpool Food and Drink Festival today? Oh, well, you know, we've been invited down by Typhoon, our main sponsors. Now, being a rugby player, I, pr I presume you've got to be really strict with your diet. What, like, what sort of stores will you be heading towards? Oh, well, you know, we played yesterday, so we're allowed a little bit of a treat, so oh, really? you know what I mean? So, Thank Kevin, what's it like um, being in Liverpool? Oh, I love it. Yeah? Oh, I love it. I mean, every, I spend a lot of time in Liverpool. Yeah. You know, uh, in my younger days, yeah. I lived here for a long while, yeah. and I just love coming back. And the city blows me away every time I come back. It gets better and better and better. It's fantastic. Are you good at making scouts? Do you know what? I'm rubbish at scouts. Uh, I can never. It's always the nuns that invest in scouts. Blind scouts, I'm yeah. great at. I'm okay blind scouts. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. no meat in it. Yeah. No, I'm not good at that. Isn't no. that funny? Oh. No, I never get it right. I don't know why. Yeah, maybe some of your or your viewers can sort of email me yeah. a nice recipe. Yeah, for it. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to differ that as well. Yeah. In different places, I've had scouts. It's never the same. It's never the same. I mean, I mix it every week, and it's different every week. No recipe week. for it. That's no. why I even Just throws it in. Bang it in. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. What type of food do you love to cook? What's your favourite type of food? It's a good to cook? question. What I like, it's good quality ingredients. Right. Where there's there's temptation thrown on them. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. when I'm eating, it's it's not boring. I don't like anything boring. No. So not when I'm eating, nothing bland. How do you so I'm here with Ian of Sapporo and El Forno. Yes, um, thank you. He's a big sushi fan. Are you? But I'm not, I wouldn't say it's usually like on my dinner. I'll go to Tesco and get it. Oh. I know. I know you were talking about that. Tesco. Like, oh, Tesco. Oh my, oh my God. But it's like everything. It's like Italian food or French food. The authenticity aspect in the supermarket offering is not quite the same no. as having the real thing. Yeah. And that's part of the, the, the ethos that we have in our business, the Forno with Sapporo, is to bring authenticity to the city and give people a real taste of Italy and a real taste of Japan. Food used to be a, a necessity. A necessi necessity. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. it's a celebration of let's go out for a meal, yeah, which is fantastic. So, yeah, but it's my daughter over here, the very accomplished chef, Gabriella. What's your favourite type of food? To I'm into my desserts now. Pastry. I did a pastry course at college for a couple of years, and that's what I like to do. It's oh my god! Forte. If I was a pastry chef, I would be probably clinically obese. I think. Well, I'm <laughs> trying to. I'm trying to. I just let like him eat it all. All right, so I think I've eaten just about all I possibly can. I've had a really good day today, speaking to some of the incredible chefs that have been here and seeing some of the fantastic restaurants and bars that Liverpool has to offer. Hopefully, if it keeps going the way it's going, it'll be bigger and better again, if that's possible. See you next time. Click on one of my other videos on screen to check out where else it's been.